Welcome to Ties TV Season 3. The episode will begin in just a moment. Remember to hit the share button and host a watch party. Representatives will be available to answer any of your questions in the comments below. Like and follow the International Surface event on your favorite social media platforms to get updates on future episodes. Well, without further delay, let's get the show started. Tice TV Season 3 is brought to you by the World Floor Covering Association. The floor covering industry's largest advocacy organization, representing specialty floor covering retailers, manufacturers, and distributors. Visit them today at www.wfca.org. Also brought to you by Premier Flooring Retailer Magazine, the only publication dedicated exclusively to the success of the specialty retailer and their supplier partners. Visit them today at www.pfrmag.net as well as Fabulous Floors Magazine, connecting the flooring industry to consumers. Visit them today at www.fabulousfloorsmagazine.com Now let's get the show started. Hello and welcome to Tice TV. I'm Hillary Lane with a very special guest. I'm joined now by a very special guest, Mark. Hello, I'm Hillary Lane. Welcome to Tice TV. I'm joined now by it's absolutely beautiful here. I'm joined now by Brian Parker. He's the VP of Product Management. Brian, welcome and tell me a little bit about the company. Special guest, Nina from Good Bones. Nina, tell me a little bit about what you're doing here today and how wonderful it is to be at Tice. Um, I'm super excited, so I'm Special here because Mark Bow from the DIY channel. <laughs> Mark, tell us a little bit about what you're up to and why you are here. I hear that this product line yep. has your name and you've been super involved. I have been involved, in fact. Uh, I'm joined now by Chip Wade. Chip, how is Tice going for you so far? This is a great show. In fact, everybody is back and it's so good to see everybody. Uh, it's bustling. It's actually quite busy. There's tons of traffic, especially here in the Dow Tile booth. And it's obvious because this booth is amazing. There's so many new products. Welcome to Tice TV. I'm Hillary Lane with a very special guest, Nina from Good Bones. Nina, tell me a little bit about what you're doing here today and how wonderful it is to be at Tice. Um, I'm super excited. So I'm here because uh, we have a partnership with Cardine and they're amazing. We've used a bunch of their product. Um, the homes that we renovate on the show are very kind of like middle America, so it's a great product for that. But also we do a lot of consultations for you know larger, higher budget products. So that they have so many different different levels of flooring uh, has been huge. And we've been able to have a lot of fun with the EVPs because you can do them in herringbone and chevron, which is, is very much our kind of like eclectic style. Amazing. And what are some of the new products that you're really excited about? One of the ones we actually just talked about is the, the chevron flooring. So when I laid my herringbone floors, it was individual pieces that we glued down, which uh, comes along with a higher labor cost. But the chevron that they have now is actually, the pattern is inlaid into individual or into to whole pieces. So you can get that really, really cool look without paying the higher labor install cost. So I really love that. And we just installed their actual thinner, um, it looks very much like old historic Victorian thin uh, plank wood that it might be my new favorite. Amazing, yeah. and just some people joining us might want to know, what are you up to? What have you been doing? Any new projects? Uh, you know, my, my kids are getting big. We're filming season seven. We uh, are, have, we have a new show. It's called Good Bones Risky Business, and we actually, the main house is Victorian. The back house is a very loft carriage house. So we have two different of the Cardine products in there that are totally different and look amazing. Um, doing that, we've got the store open still, so just all kinds of fun stuff. Well, amazing. Sounds yeah. so great. Thank you so much for joining us. And make sure to check out Good Bones and Cardine online or here in Vegas. We'll be right back after this quick commercial break. No design project is ever decided by one person. Which is why shareable contact information is so important. Join in Crowd Digital Business Cards makes it easy for your clients to share your contact info and send you referrals. 
Create your free card today. Upgrade for only $1 a month. You work hard. Make it easy for your clients to send you more business. Join in crowd today. Hello, I'm Hillary Lane. Welcome to Tice TV. Joined now by Chip Wade. Chip, how is Tice going for you so far? This is a great show. In fact, everybody is back, and it's so good to see everybody. Uh, it's bustling. It's actually quite busy. There's tons of traffic, especially here in the Dow Tile booth. And it's obvious because this booth is amazing. There's so many new products. The feature wall behind is just showcasing a lot of the new ways that tile can actually be leveraged from, you know, sculptural faces, cityscapes, art form type of things to full color palette uh, integration. But what really is kind of coming to market that's fresh this year is a pairing of architectural nuance from kind of a, a, a distance, meaning like when you're seeing a, some of these products from 10, 15 feet away, they just feel nice, they feel sophisticated, but when you get up close, the technology and the scale and the sheen and the, the nuance of the actual surface itself is amazing. And so designers, architects, um, these are my people, right? I mean, this is the type of stuff we look for and we love, and there's just a myriad of products out there that are, that are taking the cake this year. And you are clearly a huge fan of this company. Yeah. Why? Besides the beautiful textures and everything, what sets the company apart? So there's two things for me. It's quality uh, and it's basically just ease of interaction and use and purchasing. Uh, you have to have good stuff. If it's not beautiful and our clients don't love it and it doesn't last, then it's not worth anything. Well, Dow has great reputation there, but also what they have is the spectrum of products that all go together. So all of the sheen partnerships, the, the color palette pairings, you know even when you're uh, specking remotely, that you know that your stuff is going to look good once it hits the site. I do a lot of remote designing. In fact, only probably 20% of the designs I do are even in like the region, the southeastern region of the United States where I live and where my office is. So I'm doing so much uh, virtual design where I'm not always pulling out even real samples and Dow Tile makes that really easy for me to do that with confidence and we get great results from that. That's amazing. How do you feel like your work has changed during the pandemic? Um, you know, I think Really, my work is, uh, has been remote for the past 15 years. Um, so in that regard, it's been uh, a bit of an extension. I've been kind of used to it. But what I'm seeing from a client-based standpoint is clients are getting more opinionated about some of the spaces where they're spending time with their technology, meaning we are working from different, maybe odd spots in our home, right? It's not always just your home office that was like a converted dining room or something. It could be a hybrid bedroom space. It could just be a place where you have a vista of your backyard, uh, you know, from a living room or even a portion of a kitchen. Those spaces in the home, uh, homeowners are getting way more opinionated about what those finishes are and what the style is and what the functionality is, which is great. I love it when homeowners are opinionated about spaces they physically use and we're not just kind of decorating a space that just kind of gets shoved into the corner. So I'm seeing that a lot uh, and it's uh, bigger projects I'm also seeing. Um, obviously, labor is a tough thing to, you know, to find right now. Um, so I would say average price point of you know, what was uh, maybe like a $50,000 renovation, people are maybe holding off a little bit until they have a scope that's maybe 75,000 or something like, which are huge numbers, but that's kind of where we are in the marketplace right now with available labor that's quality that will actually come and execute a job. Um, so I don't know if uh, some advice is to maybe consolidate uh, uh, a lot of projects to do it all at once. Amazing, yeah. Chip. Thank you so much for joining us. An amazing Taisha. Up next, AHF Products and Magnolia Network's Mark Bow. Hey, this is Mark Bow with Barnwood Builders, and I am so happy to announce a partnership with Bruce Hardwood Floors, based right here in West Virginia. What's really exciting about this partnership is that Bruce has been in business since 1884, and I've been restoring Pioneer cabins built in the 1800s. We've combined our experience and our knowledge and technology to come up with a line of products that has that rustic charm, but yet refined elegance. So I can't wait for you to see this line. I hope you love it as much as we do. I'm proud to put my name with Bruce on this one. I'm joined now by a very special guest, Mark Bow from the DIY channel. <laughs> Mark, tell us a little bit about what you're up to and why you are here. I hear that this product line yep. has your name and you've been super involved. I have been involved. In fact, um, I went to the plant in Beverly, West Virginia, and I live in West Virginia, so 
I got a call and the guy says, hey, how would you like to tour the largest hardwood, you know, flooring mill in, in the entire North America? And I'm like, okay, great. How would the largest flooring mill like to have a Mark Bowline? <laughs> and, and just kind of joking. And what happened was it became real. So, you know, we have the TV show and we're in, um, I think now that we've been part of Magnolia Network, we're up to about a half a, I get this wrong because it's so big of a number yeah. that I imagine in dollars it just stacks. But anyway, we're up to a half a billion in uh, households. Wow. And so I went to the plant in Beverly and when we started to work on this collaboration and I wanted to replicate what I see in old barns. So for example, this floor right here is something that I saw when I took down my very first log cabin 25 years ago and it was out of that cabin. And so then I wanted to have something that represented a hayloft, something that looked like they would come out of an old chapel, something out of an industrial building. So all the floors that, that I've walked on or taken up or reclaimed over the past 25 years, that's what we replicated with Bruce and the Barnwood Living Collection. So the Barnwood Living is my company. And we took four of those five SKUs that were the best and we transferred that over into the engineering side. So now we're able to service, you know, a little bit larger market. So I'm fired up, you know what I mean? Like it's all heart because we got to go through the plant. I got to talk to the people in quality control. And anyway, it was just awesome. It's awesome. I'm honored to be a part of it. And I don't know, it just feels great to know that I've actually partnered with somebody that cares. <laughs> That's amazing. The yep. line looks beautiful. So make sure to check it out. The Mark Next up, Republic Floors. Hello, I'm Hillary Lane and welcome to Tice TV. We are here today at the Republic booth. I'm joined now by Rotem, the CEO and founder. Rotem, you have some amazing existing products and new products to show us. Tell us a little bit about your company and what you have to offer. Oh my God, I don't know where to start even. So we're a very young company. We're a seven year old company. Uh, we started from very humble beginnings. We're an outsiders. We're not from the flooring industry. Our benchmark is completely not from the flooring industry. I'm a diamond guy, I came from the diamond industry. Um, I was in uh, marketing and logistics of diamonds. So anything we bring in, any ideas, any new novelties are coming only from benchmarks that are outside of the industry. Um, Tell look, us about the products absolutely. here. Absolutely. So when we came to the market, we were looking for what makes sense to the business. What's missing? What are the voids? You know, flooring is like such an old business, like thousands and years old, you know, people thousands, you know, people always had floors in their house. What can you innovate in floors, you know? It's not high tech, it's a low tech business. And our idea was to make it, how can we make it a high tech business? How can we bring new ideas? So uh, we, we started as a laminate company seven years ago. We still have a lot of colors, about 100 colors of laminate, gorgeous colors. And then when SPC came to uh, the industry, we were from the early adapters. We actually took over that and made it our major main line. Today, we're, you know, we're most of the industry buying from Republic um, SPC, one of the biggest brands today, and there are many reasons for that. So uh, we started, uh, actually a lot of companies starting with low you know, entry level products. We actually started with high end, SPC. So those are the high ends. All those three displays here, we have lots and lots of colors of um, uh, the higher end. So we have two families of products. Pure SPC, which is the thicker product. Um, uh, it's all eight millimeter thick, 20 mil, mil wear layer. Um, a lot of other technical stuff, but more importantly, I want to talk about how we make, why they're so unique. So we installed today a black color on the floor. The reason why we did the black color because you can see anything on black color. You, you, you can't hide anything. You can see any blemishment, any sheen level, anything. So that's our presentation to customers. Tell them, look, look the, fin the finish that we're doing on the floor. There, is, there are sp special finishes mm -hmm. that are proprietary for a public that no other company can do them. And the main thing is the sh low sheen level we use on the flow, which is uh, we, we're doing it uh, with the special finishes uh, that we're using. Not going to talk about specifically about the finishes. This is, uh, 
this is like a company secret, but uh, we're getting the real wood look, uh, especially on that black floor. Obviously, it's in any floor we have. Um, and we wanted to show how beautiful it looks versus any commodity. And there is a lot of commodity going on in the industry and on the floor here. You can notice the quality. Like you look at it and you know that this is high quality. It's stunning, it looks beautiful. Thank you, absolutely. So that's what we're doing. So we have probably about seven lines of like, uh, of, of the higher end, eight millimeter SPC. Actually, we're introducing another line now. So that's the first family, pure SPC. The second family we have is pure SPC Max, mm -hmm. which is the uh, value lines. Mm -hmm. So normally, uh, manufacturers, what they'll do, because everybody are interested to do high, you know, higher profit margins and and and, and you know not sell cheap. So they will they will make six, seven colors to tell the stores, hey, we have a cheap product if you want, but it's only six, seven colors. So we we're working different way. We bring a lot of value to the stores. I don't want to come with six or seven colors. I want to come with 120 colors to the store of value lines and tell them, look, you have any color, any shade, any size, any spec at a lower price point. Mm. So I'm giving that value to the store. So we have lots of gorgeous colors and thicknesses and um, um, in our pure SPC Max. Take a look on the floor. We have almost 400 colors wow. on, uh, in stock. It's the highest number of SKUs of hard surface than any company in the industry. All right, Rotem, thank you so much for joining us and make sure to check out Republic. Thank you for watching another great episode of Ties TV. Tune in each week as we introduce more great products, manufacturers and solutions. Follow us on social media to set reminders for upcoming episodes. Remember to hit the share button and invite your friends, colleagues and clients. See you next week for even more episodes of Ties TV. Look mom. I made that.